Hi guys, it's John from Company Games. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I have a good news for you guys. I have decided to create a action RPG. It's a 2D game in Unity. So it's just a brief introduction of what the course gonna contain and what I'm going to do there will be each section I'll be show you that what I have done and what you're going to create like an introduction video of each section Okay, so in this video I'm just going to discuss what we're going to create and how the things gonna be okay and first of all uh, I think you're going to use your own assets right so you know I'm so I'm not providing any assets I'm using premium paid assets so I cannot give you those uh, so you want to create your own RPG use your own assets okay and uh, I'm using this for a pixel art kind of um, game because I have a lot of pixel art assets and if you want you can create your own assets or get something from store uh, whatever style you like okay so there are a few other things I would like to clear before I start discussing anything else and the course is for somebody who is already known the basics of Unity and C Sharp. I'm not going to explain like uh, what does if and etc. I created some videos about like the really basics of C Sharp. You can watch those videos if you want or there are plenty of YouTube videos about that okay. And so also I'm not going to write each step and I'm just going to show you what is my code my script and I show you why I have done and why you have done if you already know the basics of C sharp it wouldn't shouldn't be hard for you to follow it so more like uh, not for completely beginners so that's out of the way so let's discuss what we're going to do okay first of all in the list is character movement we're going to move uh, left and right if you want to use blendry you can use that but i'm only using two kind of movements which is like uh, left and right and it's just going like uh, i'm not doing like a four directional i'm doing only two directional movement over here okay excuse me then we're going to have some the health uh, system and health mana system and you're going to level up xp okay so is and they're going to regen depending on what stats you have and then you're going to have some inventory like what items and it's gonna check what if you have request items and things like that of course uh, we're gonna have some dialogue and npc interaction and we're gonna show how to those animations and trigger what kind of animations uh, on certain events uh, what we play okay we're going to have a quest system like you get a quest from your pc and then you complete that quest and then based on the quest you get a reward or something like that okay and there are gonna be some enemy and ai there are gonna be dungeons to explore like you can have some treasures traps and things like that so boss fights and stuff like that okay and with that we're gonna have different kind of combat mechanics like for example uh, do some area effect and uh, really hard hitting and stuff like that okay now if when you kill the enemy there gonna be some loot drop okay then the loot can drop like coins or some items or weapons and things like that or some recipes or some things like that for example imagine a game where torch like two or like diablo stuff like that okay and then we're gonna have shopping system you can buy things from the shop from the npc or like some rare vendors maybe and you can craft things from the items you gather like maybe herb um herbalism or things like that you can mine and stuff like that you know and you can make some items according to recipes that you know and uh, there will be level locked i believe and uh, you can learn that recipe at certain level and wear certain items and things like that at certain level okay so you're going to when you level up you're gonna have some skill tree so there's gonna be a skill system and when you level up of course you get some stats and skill and stats points so those are combined and uh, things are subject to change as i go through and things like that for now i have only completed the character movement section so i will be showing you a demo of the character movement and what kind of thing for example he'll be dashing he'll be flipping and he'll be walking and he'll be running 
so that's what i'm going to do in the next video so this is, was just an introduction of what the course gonna be uh, so hope you enjoyed the video and um, that's pretty much it so subscribe to my channel for more of this, of this content and support me so i can continue make this video until then see you next time have fun take care bye